So Disney sets movie dates. So most of these movies, you know, Disney will release Toy Story 5 on June 19, 2026. Hopefully people finally don't, hopefully people are not dumb enough to forget that Toy Story is originally supposed to be a trilogy and finally make this movie flop. Okay, because really, these, it's your guys' fault we are getting a Toy Story 5. Okay, you guys went to go see Toy Story 4, even though it was the worst Toy Story movie to date, which is why we got White Yell. Okay, which that was a massive failure. That was a pile of trash. I haven't even seen the movie. But everybody agrees that movie was just complete soulless crap by Disney. But, again, we're getting a fifth Toy Story movie. Because you guys, I'm talking about just the general public. Not the, not the people who watch these videos. I don't think the people who watch these videos probably want to go see Toy Story 4 in the theaters. There's, there's, hopefully you guys didn't. You guys didn't waste your money on that, so, on that garbage, okay? Because Toy Story 4 ruined the, toy, the meaning and ending of Toy Story 3. I watched it on TV, okay? And it was just like, why? Like, that, uh, yeah, the... Graphics of the movie, like the way the movie works, was pretty good. Okay, but the the it, it was just an unnecessary movie. Okay, but you guys all gave it a billion dollars. That took the Lion King remake, and why? That's why I'm going to Lion King remake too. Okay, but I think the public is finally starting to wake up to Disney's source garbage based off the box office of last year. And finally starting to realize that Disney movies suck. Modern Disney sucks. Which I've been saying this since 2019. But you guys gave Rise of Skywalker a billion dollars. You guys gave Toy Story 4 a billion dollars. You guys gave The Lion King Remake a billion dollars. Okay. That's the... that was, or, or in Aladdin too. They gave, you guys also gave Aladdin a billion dollars too. Okay. Four movies that are the least deserving of a billion dollars. Okay. And also you guys gave Captain Marvel a billion dollars. But I think people are finally starting to wake up to Disney's soulless garbage. And finally we're not giving Captain Marvel 2 a billion dollars. Hopefully finally don't get, we don't give Toy Story 5 a billion dollars. And give Disney the flop it deserves. Okay. They're also, giving, they're also making, they're also doing uh, the Moana 2. Which, you know, was probably because... Because... A lot of people criticize the fact that they're basically making a movie in nine months. And Disney said, oh, sit. We are doing that. So they delayed the movie until June 27, 2025. Also, we're making a Mandalorian movie. Like, ugh. They're, and of course, they're going to capitalize on the stupid Baby Yoda. Like, hey, I don't want to about Baby Yoda anymore. Baby Yoda's a dead character at this point. But I know that they're going to try to play it safe because they know people love Baby Yoda. I don't care. Yeah, call me a horrible person all you want, but I don't care about Baby Yoda. Tron Aries is also airing as well, and also some other movies as well. Yeah, as well. But hopefully, oh yeah, and also Frozen Two made a billion dollars too. Another garbage movie that made a billion dollars. But Disney's movies are not too good. They rarely release a movie that everybody loves. Okay, like. Look at how bad Turning Red was. Like, ugh, that movie was awful. Okay, I don't care about the, I don't care about it's made by Pixar. I'm going to criticize it and say it's a bad movie. Because I watched the movie and I didn't like it. Okay. Say for the DreamWorks, when they release a bad movie, I'm going to criticize them. Okay, I like DreamWorks. I like a lot of the movies they made. But if a movie is sit, then we got to criticize it. There, there's no other way around it. We can't just say, oh yeah, our DreamWorks made, we had a comeback because they made one good movie, okay, and one amazing movie, and then they make city movies like uh, Ruby Gilman that no one wanted to see, okay, but, you know, it's just the animation, like, I think that with animated movies, people, are, they're unwilling to take risks anymore, they're unwilling to take risks anymore, and... I know if that wild robot movie that actually are taking risks with that movie, like it's like a movie about a robot and nature. It's based off a book. And a lot of people said the book was really great and it was fantastic. Thick. And if you like the book that's based off of, for, it's basically like the Iron Giant 
basically the wild robots like the iron giant was a lot of people say it's one of the few examples of what the adaptation is better than the actual book itself self but yeah more sequel swap is coming on the way by disney and it's not too surprising at all goodbye